Well, good afternoon all. Today is January 8th, 2023. Now I haven't done a, one of these videos in a while because this is a, this is gonna go on YouTube because YouTube will allow this type of material. You know, you ha if you stick to your, to your little niche, your little niche where you do toys, cupcakes, makeup, or just reaction videos, as long as you fit the right profile, you have no problems. If you delve into anything else, any type of pop culture, popular news articles or things they don't like, you're gone. Stay, stay in your lane, color inside the boxes, no problem. But anyway, this has been like three weeks since I did one of these uh, collection of crap videos. Yeah, it's a co collection of crap videos. So it's been three weeks, almost a month, but, and I got a few things, most of it on sale. Um, yeah, got all kinds of stuff. Got all kinds of CDs, I got VHS tapes, I got some toys, collectible toys. Uh, I got books, magazines, comics, the whole gambit, the whole gambit of useless crap. So let, let us begin. So I got this, uh, when did this come out? Uh, 2021, so like two years ago, a year ago. These things are hard to find. You can't find them in stores, you can go to collectible comic stores. I don't know, they're not, they're just not in the retail, like Targets and Walmarts and stuff, they're not there anymore. I don't know why, but it's the Mego Captain Kirk. Mego Kirk, yes, there he is, came out in 2021. Doing his bows. Uh, yeah. I just, I just dig Migos. This is like one of the main ones I collect. Migos and NECA. You know, I got some others in here. I got this. Lambert. Lambert. Uh, Veronica Cartwright. See, I'm collecting this series. I got almost all, I got the whole crew, which I'm going to do a video on. I got the whole crew of the USS Nostromo. See these, this is for the 40th anniversary of Alien, so these are going on four years. I've been collecting them. Every so often I come across one of them. I come across, you know, this. I got all the other ones. I do, I, for some reason, I didn't get the Xenomorphs when I saw them. Stupid, because now I want them. Uh, every so often you come across one of these, so, uh, it's like, I think, 10 or 11 in the whole Wave series. Got most of them. There you go. Is it, this, 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 this look at that suit. This is awesome. Just love it. Then I got this. Now, I made a video on this making fun of it. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. No window. Nothing. Just bullshit. Uh, I got it because it was like twenty, twenty dollars, twenty something bucks. It's originally like fifty four, some ridiculous amount. Twenty bucks, yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll probably even take them out of the box. They're just very funny toy action figures to me. They're just hilarious looking. I like. I mean, interesting. I, I'm, maybe I'll do an unboxing, show how they look. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Come with tablets and backpacks. It's hilarious. Anyway, uh, that's Ned Leeds and Peter Parker. So let's move on to the other physical media stuff I got. Because I got some books. Yeah, books, books. Because uh, I like my books too. I got this, which I haven't started to read yet. There's two books I got here. I got Retail Gangster. Now, if you grew up in New York... 70s, 80s. This dude, Crazy Eddie. This was his mascot. This is an interesting book. It's just wild. Crazy Eddie was one of the most brazen, longest running frauds in the history. For 20 years, the criminal mastermind, Eddie Antar, fooled everyone. Fascinating. We was like 10 bucks uh, at uh, Barnes & Noble. So I just saw it, struck my eye. Looks like an interesting read. Then I got this, the, uh, the Living Dead, a new novel. George Romero and Daniel Krause. It's a, it looks, Walking Dead, Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead. I like my zombies, okay? So I'm gonna read this. It's a, 
decent sized book. Um, I don't know how this was done because this just came out. This they must have been working on this prior to George Romero passing away. Don't know. But anyway, I'll let you know how it is when I finish it. So then, then I got uh, what I got. I got some comic books. There's two two series of comic books that I'm in the process of trying to collect. One is Magnus Robot Fighter. There's a gold key. Then it went to Whitman. Um, these are becoming pricey. I've got a little more than half of them, I believe. I mean, like. There's 46 in the initial run. That's the one I'm looking at. Even in the initial run, some of them were reprints of earlier issues. I still want to complete the 1 to 46. They're getting pricey. It's it's wild. So uh, it started at 63. I think this is issue 25. So it came, this is 1964 or 5 or something. But yeah, these are, these are this <laughs> robot fighter? This, this might be the hero of the future. Ha! <laughs> Trust me. Anyway, and then this series. Uh, the Champions. Champions being Hercules, Black Widow, Iceman, and Ghost Rider. This is a limited run series that came out in 70, 17 issues. Uh, I need like another five. I have issue one. I ordered a couple more. Uh, so this is issue 13. I think it went on from like 77, 75 to 77, I think. 17 issues. Uh, it was late 75, crossed over, but uh, it's issue 9. Just like the artwork, I like, uh, I like the characters, the cool characters. You didn't see too many comics with Hercules in it, so I got, you know, there you go. And then I just picked this one off on, because it just, Looked interesting. Contagion. This is issue five. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, see. Maybe it's a short run series. I can grab the other issues. Contagion. Eh? Uh, and then what else did I get? I got some stuff here. Magazines. Magazines. Starlog. I don't know if you're aware of Starlog. Starlog was the the magazine of the '70s for science fiction. Uh, I was relaxed. There was Starlog, there was Future, there was Fangoria. These were it. Omni was, I think the Omni, Omni was pretty good too. Starlog, this was it. This is the 100th issue. When did this come out? Like 85, I think. Congratulations, issue number 100. Let me see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, 1985. Magazine started in. I believe 76 or 77. So that's issue 100. Uh, his issue number three was about Star Trek conventions. And me being a big Star Trek person, convention guy in the 70s, because my mom used to take me to the conventions. It's crazy. It's good. It's cool. Uh, look, this is, look, look what they have on the back for this. This is issue number three. Look, the advertising kiss. Kiss rock and roll all over. LP, LP, go to Sam Goody's or J and R Music World and get your get your vinyl LP. Uh, and then I got these. Uh, this is the this is from '82. So this is when Blade Runner first came out. This is issue 58. Now, what what was interesting in here is that I continued because I got 59. And then uh, issue 60. Because what they do in there, they, they reprinted the original story that inspired the movie The Thing. That was a story that inspired. It's actually a remake from the movies in the 50s. But there was a specific story that uh, Stephen King, I mean, uh, John Carpenter took to adapt to the screen. 1982 is a fantastic year, my <laughs> two for uh, science fiction. I think, I think I'm gonna go back and revisit that. Yeah, oof, wow, <laughs> holy, holy smoke. Uh, then I got this, see, these magazines, this is, a, uh, this is all about the group Yes, because I'm doing a video on the group Yes, which will be on this channel. Uh, and um, 
these magazines do a little introspective of the band with uh, just different things about songs. See, yes, yes, yes. I don't know if you know the band, yes, probably not. Maybe if you're watching my shit, you do. Yes started in the late 60s, became a monster rock band in the 70s. Prog rock, mind you. They were, these guys were massive, talented instrumentalists, singers, songwriters, phenomenal. Then, in the 80s, they morphed into this pop band. But it was good, too. Anyway, we'll get more into that later. And then I got some CDs. I got this, The Best of Lush. Lush is an English band from the 90s. Th these guys are good. These guys got some good songs. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I got Naked Eyes. Naked Eyes, another English band from the 80s. Here we go. And then I got this, Of Monsters and Men. Um, what is this? Fever Dream. This is the last LP they put, I think, in 2019. Uh, look at this. I got this. <laughs> it says the Denver Public Library. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't steal it from the library. It's just hilarious to me. It's just absolutely hilarious. They... It's weird, right? It didn't even categorize. Well, somebody took it, sold it to some store. I don't know. Now I got it. Anyway, and then I got this, The Best of the Church. Most of you know it from Under a Milky Way, even if you know that. But they're a good rock band out of the 80s from Australia. Down and down under, baby. Uh, and then I got some uh, VHS, because I'm all on that shit now. As you can see, I got it playing it back. Gone in 60 seconds. I got this. It's the uh, Marx Brothers. Little snippets of the Marx Brothers. Uh, doesn't like the Marx Brothers. Then I got this. Stigmata. This is a good movie, man. This has got... Um, what's his name in there? Gabriel Byrne, Patricia Arquette. This is a pretty scary movie. If you haven't seen this, check it out. Uh, and then I got The Man in the Iron Mask, the, the original one from the 70s with Richard Chamberlain. I like the one with DiCaprio, too, but it's a good watch. Uh, these are like 50 cents, man. You can't go wrong. You buy it, you watch it, throw it on a shelf, throw it in a box, throw, throw, throw it anywhere. You throw it in garbage. It's not a big investment. Uh, and then I got this with Gregory Peck and Ava Gardner. On the Beach, early 60s Cold War movie. It's about people on a nuclear sub after the, the shit kicks off. After, you know, World War III. I guess they didn't follow their mad advice with mutual assured destruction. Uh, but there you go. There's all my stuff that I got the past week because I like that shit. I hope you do. Uh, this is I just sharing what you got. Chime down. Send a link. I don't know. Can you share links? I don't even know. Or, or just tell me what your channel is. I'll subscribe to you and see all the crap you got. But anyway, peace. It's Sunday, everybody. Have a wonderful day. It's kind of nice out. I don't know where you're off. It's, if you're in Hawaii, it's probably always nice out. Here, it's a little chill, but go out. Have a nice day. Spend time with the family. Go buy more crap. Go to the movies. Go food shopping. Just do something. Don't just sit in the house. Because everything that's going on, there's nothing you can do about it. You really can't. So enjoy yourself for now. Peace.